Hi everyone, so I thought I'd hop out today and just share with you how easy it is to get sewing the Spring Vegetable Library. Today I'm filming on a different device because I've just dropped my phone down the toilet. So it's drying in the house in a box of rice. Fingers crossed it works. But let's get sewing some of our vegetable friends. First of all, let's introduce you to all of our vegetable friends. So we've got Connie Cucumber, Thomas Tomato, Sophia Sunflower, Babs Beetroot, Paula Pumpkin, Connor Courgette, Clarence Carrot, Freddie French Bean and Posy P. But we're going to start off with Babs Beetroot. As you can see, um, everything's muddy because I have already sown some of our vegetable friends. Now, these are the beetroot that I've already sown. So I've multi-sown them, four in a clump together and planted them straight into the ground. We are going to make a drill and to make a nice straight line I'm going to use this bamboo cane but you could use a string line if you've got one or make it up, invent something nice to use as a straight line, a plank of wood or whatever you like and then we are going to make a dent in the soil. Here we go, we're just going to make a nice line, a nice straight line there in the soil to put our seeds into. This is called a drill. All the spacing and depth and everything is all on the booklet. And then we're just going to sprinkle our Babs beetroot into our drill. There we go. Beautiful. Simple as that. Then we're just going to cover it back over. So we've got all those seeds nicely covered. Give it a nice pat down. Then give it a water. Bob your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Beetroot done. Moving swiftly on to Freddie French Bean. This is the perfect time of year to get sowing everything in the spring vegetable library directly into the ground or into a pot. I'm sowing Freddie French Bean into the ground, but if you don't have a space in the garden, you can plonk him into a pot. Check out the booklet for Freddie French Beans spacing and tips. So before you sow any of your seeds, you need to make sure that your soil is completely weed free because we don't want our seeds competing with weeds for light, nutrients and water. We want our straight line, our bamboo cane again, and then we're going to use another stick and make a nice hole every 10 to 15 centimetres or so. I'm guessing, but if you want to be OCD, then please feel free and measure 10 to 15 centimetres between your holes. Then we're going to move our stick about 45 centimetres away from that row and do the same again. Another 10 to 15. I might do mine sort of as a zigzag because I quite fancy that and I feel like it gives it a little bit of extra space there. As a general rule of thumb, we want to bury our seed at double the depth or circumference of the seed. So you can see this is about one centimetre. So we want to bury it at least two centimetres below the soil. I'm going to plonk two Freddy French beans into each hole. Simple as that. There we go. Push it down if it's not gone into enough. Cover the holes up. Give it a water. There we have Freddy French bean done. Now, if both those seeds germinate, we're going to sacrifice one of them. So we'll just chop one off. So that that one plant, so the healthiest one that's there, will have a fabulous life with all the nutrients and water it needs. Because if you leave them both, then you might get two weakling plants, which isn't what we really want. Next on the agenda, we've got posy pea. If you've already sown your posy peas in your toilet rolls, wallop them out into the garden now. Here is my row of posy peas. But you can also start to direct sow your posy peas. And that is in a similar way to Freddie French Bean. Oh my goodness, I have just found my first posy pea. This is a very exciting moment. Look, and these beautiful posy pea flowers. So those flowers will turn into the peas. But you can eat these flowers and you can eat the leaves. But if you eat the flowers, then obviously you're not going to get the pea. So I also sow some just for salad crops as well. Here is my posy pea salad bed among a few weeds which I will deal with later but this I will cut when it's about 30 centimetres and it will just keep regrowing up to about three times. Let's get direct sowing our posy peas. We want to use our trusty stick again and make some holes ready for our posy peas to go into. And then pop two 
or three of your posy pea seeds into the ground, cover her up, give her a tap, job done. A little bit of water. Look, I've got a little posy pea coming through there as well. Oh, can you tell that I love posy peas? I will come back to you with some more seeds shortly when my phone has dried out from its toilet dunk. Um, but in the meantime, I thought I'd share with you one of my other favourite parts about the booklet is this happy, think happy thoughts library. It's where you can record all your happy thoughts through your growing adventures and then you roll up these little tabs and put them into your magic potion bottle to revert back to when you're having a bad day so you can remember all the happy bits like when your first posy peas poke through the soil you can write it on your tab and put it in your posy pea bottle. So I will get back to you with some more of our vegetable friends but for now I hope you really enjoyed our video and hop across to my shop to get your hands on the spring vegetable library because we're going to be going into our summer seed selection soon so if you want to grow po posy pea, pull a pumpkin then head across to the shop before it's too